hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so uh this story i've read it here before but i want to come back to it right because it is still an ongoing uh, process and unfortunately our uh, people are not used to being persistent you know they'll be like oh you've already discussed it don't talk about it again it doesn't work that way when somebody or um an injustice is persistent the right way to fight that injustice is to be persistent in your fight against that injustice. I've brought this story here before. Like I said, I never knew this lady. I don't know much about her until this whole thing. I started looking into the whole story. She basically, anyone that does not know, her name is Precious Chikwendu. She was married to a Nigerian politician that, uh, you know, they have four children together. They've gone their separate ways. That's fine. Nobody today, marriage started to break. Marriage breakups have been happening before some of us were born. It's happening today and it will still happen even when some of after some of us have left this earth the problem is when one party when i say one party the male or the female decides to use the children as a tool to oppress the other i do not believe in women doing it and i don't believe believe in men doing it and in this case is how this lady uh, that her ex-husband has prevented her from seeing her children okay it is not something for us to be quiet about this is not just an injustice onto that lady the mother of these four children, but injustice to the children as well. Children have the right to have their fathers and their mothers in their lives. Okay? Let parents break up, do their own thing, but they shouldn't allow their breakup to affect the life of their children. I've shared a video about it here. This lady had the first child was a boy, and then she had triplet boys as well. So she has four children with this man. They have they were caught others, you know, from all the reporting she has been doing, they were caught others that the man was supposed to give her visitation. You're supposed to allow her visitation, like access, where she can see the children at the weekend, whatever. She goes to the park or the playground where she's supposed to meet her children. This man has never, never complied with the courts. You can see it's 4.29 p.m. on Sunday, 9th of January, 2022. And I'm still here at the park waiting to see my children. Um, my children are not proud. I'm still here. And we still have an hour, 30 minutes more to go. Because um, the time set for my visitation is from 9 a.m. to um, 6 p.m. in the evening. So it's where? 6? I'm still here. And they are not here. Um, just to keep you up with that. I've had ice cream, I've had popcorn, so I'm fine. I'm well hungry. But I'm um, still here. I'm waiting for my children. Hopefully, a last minute miracle. It's me again. Today is um, the 9th day of January 2022. And the last date on the letter written by my lawyers to the father of my kids for my kids to be brought to me through the holiday. According to court order, the order was for the board lawyers to sit down and agree on dates that I would see my boys during the holiday, pending the next um, adjourned date, which is on the 15th of January this year. Now, I've been here on every date that was, that was written on that letter. I was here on the 19th of December. I was here on the 25th of December, 2021. I was here on the 1st of January, 2022. And I'm here now on the 9th. Of January 2022 which is the last date before we return back to court on the 15th and um, my kids have not been here I've been here since 9 and I've been waiting because um, let's say 9 was too early for them yeah but this is 12 12 15 in the afternoon I'm still here they are not here there are kids in the park playing here yeah? My kids are not here. Um, and be... There's more time. I'm waiting. I still have six hours left, so I'll still be here waiting to see if they will be brought to the park or not. I grew up in a broken home, although my parents later came back together, but then we're already grown up and gone. But when we were younger, when my parents broke up, we were not allowed to see our mother. So I know how it feels. It hurts as a child it actually feels like, not even like now that you can ring people on the phone or whatever that time there were no all these mobile phones it was almost like your mother was dead because you don't see for us we don't see our mother 
it was it was too much for us i believe that it is an injustice on the children i can speak as a child that went through that because i know what it feels like coming back to this poly so-called politician and going back to the story of nigeria and injustice you know when sometimes when we speak one thing i like about this story is that this guy is not a pastor because if he was a pastor, I can bet you that some people will say, why do you talk about pastors? Pastors cannot be touched. Da, 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 da. That is one good thing I like about this particular story. So this man, his injustice against this woman and her children is wrong. And they should be more speaking up. There's actually a petition now people are signing. What they would achieve with that petition, I don't know. I would put a link to the petition so that more people can sign. I think at the moment there are over 35,000 you know, petitions, um, there were oh, 32,000. This petition would help African women who have been denied a right. I would have said men and women, you know, because it happens both ways. You know, so women sometimes use children as a tool to punish their ex, you know, when the marriage ends. This petition would help African women who have been denied a right to their children because they were married to or cohabited with a person of power. This petition would put an end to bullying and oppression from political spouses. Who have the power and means to oppress and frustrate that is what you know uh, let me say this i hate injustice i like i really hate injustice I, I can't explain how much i hate it and when you see a lot of these topics that i get involved in and i sound passionate even though i don't know these people it's because of how much i hate injustice for political spouses who have the power and means to oppress and frustrate their partners out of the lives of, of their growing children who need the love and care of their of both parents uh pressure i like that they included that both parents not one parent both parents. i really wanted to come here and use my platform i know i've talked about it before but i want to use my platform to address it again i'll put a link guys please sign the petition a lot of our people are just i don't know because you will see nigerians will see an oppression by someone in power a landlord is in power because he is the landlord and you are the tenant you know when there is that uh, unequal powers between people um what's it called politician is in power a police officer has a uniform that makes him powerful uh military po uh, i already said politicians pastors especially mega pastors and when i say pastors there are some pastors that are just they may not even be mega but there's this power they have as people that people look up to because they believe in this so-called touch not my anointed and that makes them you know, don't question them they are pastors they are holy you know they are only answerable to god that brings that an imbalance in power but when there's a problem is when that uh, 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 um, in that that is abused that's re what really gets me and if you really notice a lot of the topics that i address that i may get passionate and i speak about it and stuff like that is because of how much i hate the uh, um abuse of power it drives me nuts even when it comes to, like a society where they place men above women just simply because you were born as a man and you're born as all of those inequalities and there's some videos where some people will say ah why are you taking it personal uh, uh, or things like oh why are you grieving more than the bereaved whatever it is how much i hate personally how much i personally hate injustice when i look at this story of this uh, 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 uh ffk and uh, this pressure she went to I'm, I'm annoyed by it because it's wrong it is wrong because how can the courts say she has to see her children yet till date it has not been re it has not been enforced is that not injustice? Simply because he's a politician or he has the money or the connections. I'm going to say it again. Please don't forget to sign this petition. If I forget to put it in the description box, remind me to share the link so I, everybody can sign it. But I want to say this. Those that would hear you talk about a particular topic and say, why are you talking about it again? Already discussed it. Say something else. It's not, that's not how it works. When an injustice is persistent, the fight against that injustice should also be persistent. That is one. Secondly, if it is you that finds yourself being oppressed, bullied by anybody at all, and the whole world comes to help you, and they came to help you once, and then they left and left, forgot about it, you will not be happy. You would wish the world would hang around until you get your justice. One of the problems that I find a lot of our people have is, is not them, it's not their family member, it's not their friend, it's not, it's not somebody they know. So it's not, it's not something they, they, they think you should be bothered about. It could be you tomorrow. This is why we should fight against all these things. Because if we fight against it, the day that is your turn, hopefully we would have we would have built a society at that time by that time that will make sure that when it's your turn, you would get justice. You see that mentality of you know, when some people say, ah, eh, but it's, it's not why is it your business? It's not your business now. Nah. Why are you crying more than the bereaved, whatever? 
I feel, I personally feel other people's pain. Just like I would love somebody else to feel injustice that's perpetrated against me, injustice against me, bullying that I experience, as much as that. But unfortunately, you know, if you see Western society, there can be one story of injustice. You will see people that will carry it on their head. They will not stop. They will make sure the press cover it. They will make sure they will even go and make posters. They will go from here to there, sharing it, justice for this, that. Our people are not very quick at things like that. But until it happens to them, before they will understand it, don't wait until you happen to you. it happens to you. Let's all be part of building a better society now so that, God forbid, the day it happens to you or somebody that you care about, hopefully our society is already fixed that you can benefit from that fix. Look at this story of these children without their mother's love. Their mother is alive, not that she's dead. Their mother is alive. Yes, they cannot have their mother's love. I'm not saying fathers cannot love their children. A father's love is on its own. A mother's love is on its own. A child is entitled to all of them. Even if you don't feel anything for precious chikwendu, at least feel for those innocent children. This man is going to be employing nannies. Today, he will change nannies tomorrow. He will be changing nannies now because sometimes they will change nannies today. You will employ new ones tomorrow. Four young children. This man is a politician. So definitely, I doubt that he's a hands-on father. Most politicians are traveling up and down. They're hardly ever around. So the role their mother is going to play in their life, those children have been deprived. If you don't call that injustice, I don't know what that is. Anyways, I have shared it before, and I want to share it again. It's still ongoing. It was last week or the week before. Now this man then, he now decided to file a, a case against her of a attempted, was he attempted murder or whatever? Because if he can do that, and if he can get her in jail, she's finished. And he can have his way. We can't sit back and look at things like this. We can't. You know, normally I would say we women. No. Men, women, if that lady was your sister, if that lady was your mother, or you are those children, you would not love anybody to deprive you of the love of your mother. I don't even know what else to say about this. I've shared it before and I want to share it again. And like I said, join the petition. But it is important to create awareness of all this injustice in our society. This is wrong. And we all have to speak up and say that it is wrong. Anyways, I wanted to come and update, you know, I wanted to come and, uh, you know, update you guys about that story. And uh, as always, whatever your opinions are, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.